Hello everybody. I just thought I'd bring you a little uh, thing I picked up at the Walmart store here recently. Uh, this is a, a gaming keyboard or you know it's an entry level I guess gaming keyboard. Um, I, but I bought this for my spare computer that I don't go on too much uh, but I needed a keyboard on there and when I do video editing or, you know, just when I'm using that computer, which I occasionally do, I, I, I'd like to have a decent keyboard on it. Well, this keyboard, I've seen it on clearance at Walmart. And, um, well, they had it on sale for $15. Uh, this is a Steel Series keyboard. It's called the Apex 100. Uh, you know, it's an illuminated gaming keyboard. Gaming, you know. <laughs> But anyways, it's uh it's got the quick tension switches, you know. It's it's not like the cherry switches or anything, but I heard they was pretty decent. Um, it's guaranteed 20 million clicks. I haven't opened this yet, so I'm gonna do a little open a box opening today on it. I'll figure out how to get this open. Get my scissors. Well, it looks a little more complicated than I thought it would be. Anyways, maybe I should have got my razor knife. This room here is my my work room. Um, I got a lot of car parts, you know, tools. Um, I work on computers. This is my little working table here. Uh, but this computer here, you know, I love the computer I got. It's, it's a Core i7, it's a Haswell, and uh, 4770K uh, still works great. I mean, I have no complaint with it whatsoever. Um, I have another computer, a newer one that I use mostly, but this one, I like to come in here and do my, um, hold on just a second, let me put this down, see if I can get this box open. But anyway, I like to come in here and get on it from time to time. And uh, especially when I'm looking for parts, computers, or car that I work on. And, uh, or, you know, just stuff to do home repairs with. But it's, a, it's still a great computer for its age. But uh, anyways, here we go. We're going to try to get this out one-handed. Um, this is a very well packed box, it seems. Yeah, it's all wrapped in plastic real nice. And I mean, yeah, they should want to make sure it didn't get no dust or anything on it. All right, get that out of the way. Okay, yeah, this is... I mean... I've seen some pretty good reviews on this keyboard. It it probably would be a good, you know, uh, gaming keyboard. Uh, do the do what you need it to do, you know, till you can afford a high dollar one. But this keyboard, I've seen it go as high as forty dollars. Um, it's been around a few years, so it's gone down in price. And uh, I guess Walmart's got tired of looking at them, so. They had it on their clearance aisle. Actually, it was at the end of the electronics aisle there where they had other stuff on clearance. Well, I like the way it looks, actually. Yeah, it's a really nice looking keyboard. Uh, so you're seeing it as I see it. But, yeah, really nice. I mean, it's got some good weight to it. Decent weight. Keys are, I like the height of the keys. I mean, yeah, it feels good. It's not, not real loud. I hate a loud clicky key. You know, I don't mind some noise, but I don't want to, for it to sound like an antique typewriter or nothing like that, even though that is a cool sound. I, I really don't care for it, you know, ringing out all over the house. Yeah, I like this. Anyway, let me get it hooked up to my computer. Y'all hold on just a minute. Alrighty. We're back here at the keyboard. 
and as you can see I mean this thing is bright uh, the one thing you say for it is it's, it's very well lit the only thing I, I dislike about it I guess would be that the uh, keys doesn't have light shining through them uh, you know it's but I've seen online where you can uh, dim these lights and I, I you know I didn't install whatever program that is or memorize which keys to use to do it but uh, you can dim those lights hey guys I just wanted to interrupt the video real quick real quick here to show you something I found um, Steel Series does have a software for the keyboard and, you know, of course, other things like the mass you buy or whatever. But what I really, really am happy about is they do have software to control the keyboard. And uh, you can find this software at steelseries.com forward slash engine. Once you get there, you just click on the Windows download here for Windows 8.1 or newer. They also have it for Mac OS 10.2 or, or 10.12 or newer. But anyways, I'm really, um, I'm, I'm really pleased with what they did with this software. It's kind of basic, you know, but it's got what you need, and that's what matters. It, it keeps it simple, and uh, I'll show you the software here. But anyways, uh, when you when you download the software, you know they give you the option of logging in, you know, registering and logging in. Um, you don't really have to do that. You can control the keyboard engine without it. Uh, but if you do, you know, you get this software here called Moments. And uh, what Moments is, is it gives you the option to capture your gameplay. And, um, you know, you can set up your keys there and, and you can edit it with the same software. And you can share it to YouTube or, you know, anywhere you like. But um, it's not a bad deal. And anyways, the engine on the keyboard engine, you, uh, you're in the keyboard engine, it'll show you your um, your peripherals right here. And the only one I have from Steel Series is the keyboard. So that's all it'll show. So you just click on that and it pulls up the keyboard software. And what this is, is, uh, you know, it gives you, a, you can set up key assignments, uh, which will come in handy if you, you know, you're into that kind of thing. Plus, uh, for my editing tools, I'll probably set it up for that. Um, also, you know, it does have a light control for the keyboard. Um, you've seen how bright the lights were, but you could turn them off. You can set them low, medium, or high. And, you, you know, unless you really like to light up the room, I'd recommend going with medium or low. But anyways, once you get that, you know, set to your liking there, you come down here and it gives you the option of a couple of options. You got, you can keep the lights on steady or you can set it to breathe mode. And once you set it up to breathe mode, you can control how fast you want it to breathe. Um, it's set at medium by default, but you could set it up to uh, high. And it doesn't show high down here on my screen but it is there i mean so when when you want to come back to medium just click medium or you could slow it down and set it to slow and these polling rates um and you know i guess that's for for your mice but uh anyways uh but you can say that i like to keep mine at steady for right now i do like breathe mode sometimes and i got light set to low but anyways, this is a really cool software. I mean, it's a, it's really surprising on a $15 keyboard, which as I said, the keyboard, I, I think it originally launched for around $40, $50. Uh, but it's got a few years on it now. So, of course, they're going to drop the price. And Walmart's is going to drop it even lower because they're getting tired of looking at them. So I guess they're going to just uh, get them out of stock there. But um Anyways, you can save what you set it at, you know, and then if you ever want to change it, you can, and then you can just revert back to your original settings. But I thought you guys might be interested in this. I mean, so, you know, help you decide whether you want to buy one of these or not. Um, I think it's an excellent deal, even at 20 or $30. Uh, you just can't be beat. It feels good typing on it. 
you know, and I'll make a good, you know, gaming keyboard. But anyway, back to the video. That's, um, it's definitely going to need it. I mean, uh, I don't usually have my keyboard on top of my desk here. I got a drawer, but, you know, I had, I wanted to put this where you could see it. Um, but anyway, I got, I have notepad opened up and, um, I'm going to do some typing. If you can see it, it's kind of small. But anyways, uh, put Steel Series. I'm not a fast typer, so bear with me, especially when I'm trying to film. I mean, Space Key. Yeah, Space Key is good and solid. The keys feel real good. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure these are not kale switches. But, um, they do feel good, though. I mean, for $15, who could complain? I mean, even, it's got on the sticker that, uh, marked down from 20 So, they must have previously dropped the price to 20 Um, so, you know, it's... I'd say it's worth every penny of that. Uh, so far, I really like it. The keys, they feel real good. Um, I have a mechanical keyboard, you know, with uh, cherry switches in them. And, and it, it, of course, it's not going to feel like that. But this feels really nice for what they are. Uh, um, you know, can't say much for the longevity of it. Uh, it feels pretty solid. I know there's some uh, keys on here that you could press to dim the lights or turn them off, but uh, yeah, I think I, I think I'm gonna like it for what I need it for. Uh, I mean, it even had a cap on the um, USB cable. I want to make sure that don't rust. But so far, I'd recommend it. I mean, it you know, it, it'd make a a decent uh gaming keyboard i believe uh your kids would love something like this and uh yeah i like i like the key setup they just really feel good they're not real loud uh yeah this feels good all righty guys i appreciate y'all stopping by and having a look with me um but yeah, I think, you know, if you wanted a, a entry level keyboard, gaming keyboard, that uh, this would do the trick, you know, I'd recommend it. So, uh, well, anyways, y'all remember to like and subscribe and, um, you know, stop by again, check out my videos. Uh, but anyways, uh, thank y'all again. Have a good one. Bye bye.